السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل بفور وی اسٹارٹ ڈو سبسکرائب ٹو مائی چینل اینڈ شیئر اٹ وتھ یور فرینڈس ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سالو کیمبرج آئی جی سی ایس سی میتھمیٹکس پیپر ون کور ویرینٹ ون ون مے جون ٹو تھاؤزینڈ سیونٹین دا فرسٹ کویشچن رائٹ ان فگرز دا نمبر سیونٹی تھاؤزینڈ Twenty, and the next one is write as a decimal the value of five to the power of negative three. Many times in your calculator, when you uh, put in the value five to the power of negative three, you will get one over one to five. To change it to decimal, above the delete button, there is an SD. When you press that. This will change into a decimal and you will get 0.008. Question number three, the thickness of one sheet of paper is eight multiplied by 10 to the power of negative three centimeter. Work out the thickness of 250 sheets of paper. So eight multiplied by 10 to the power of negative three multiplied by 250 will give you two. Simply 5, x to the power of 2, bracket, close, 5. If you have in the bracket and there's a power inside and out, b times the power. So the answer is x to the power of 10. In number 5, we have been given two shapes. They are both pentagon, a and b. Choose the mathematical words from the list to complete this statement. Pentagon A is opposite, congruent, reflected, or translated. This is not opposite. You can clearly see it's not reflected also. It's congruent. All the sides are equal. Question number six. We have been given five numbers and from the list write down a prime number. So what is a prime number? A prime number is a number which is not divisible by any other number except one and itself. Both 31 and 37 are prime numbers. So you can write them down. You can look at the video for uh, the numbers that I've put up. I've explain all the different types of numbers. Question number seven, write 23.4571 correct to four significant figures. So let's count the numbers, one, two, three, and four. We have to round it till here. Look at the number after the line we, which we have drawn, there is seven. If you have five or more than five, then we add one, to the number where we have to round it to. So this will become 23.46. Next we have the nearest 10. So this is the tens place. Now we are going to look at the number after that. It's three. Three is less than five. So we do not add one. We turn it into a zero, 20. Question number eight, factorize completely 12 n square minus 4 m n. What is common? We have to factorize it. Let's start with the numbers. We have four times three, that will give us 12 and four times one. So the common here is four. Three will remain here. And there are two n here and one n here. So we are going to write the n also in the front. We factorize the n. You are left with 3n minus m. If you don't know how to factorize the numbers, you can put in the calculator 12 over 4. These two numbers and you will get 3. If there's nothing in the denominator, there is a 1. So this fraction, you can write it as 3 and 1. And what number you will factorize out? 
the first number you divide by 3. 12 divided by 3 is what? 4. So this is a short way of doing if you don't know your times table. Question number 9. Find the highest common factor of 126 and 150. There are two ways to solve this question. Either you write down the factors of 126 and 150 and see which is common or we will solve by uh, taking the prime factorization of 126 and 150. I'll show you both the ways. Let's start with prime factorization. So write 126 here and 126 is an even number so you can divide it by 2. So whatever number you are dividing by, write on the side. And then you can use your calculator. 126 divided by 2 will give you 63. 63 is not an even number, so you cannot divide it. By 2, let's try 3. 3 is another prime number. 63 divided by uh, 3 is 21. 21 can also be divided by 3. And you will get 7. 7 cannot be divided by 3, but 7 can be divided by 7, which is another prime number. And now we will write the same uh, prime factorization of 150. Again, 150 is an even number. We start with 2. You will get 75. 75 divided by 3 will give us 25. 25 is not in 3 times table, so the next prime number is 5. 25 divided by 5, 5. And 5 divided by 5, 1. Yeah, I forgot to write 1. Now we are going to write in one line. You can write here 126 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. And 150 Then circle the number which is common in both uh, 126 and 150, 2 and 3. So our highest common factor is 2 multiplied by 3, 6. This is one method. The other method is we are going to write the factors of 126. 1 times 126 will give us 126. 2 times 63 will give us 126. Which are the numbers will give us 126? You can use your calculator and divide. 126 divided by 3 is 42. Check for 4. You cannot divide it. You will get a fraction. 5 will of course not go. 6 times 21 is 126. 7 will not go. Try 8. Nope. 9 will go. 9 times 14. 10 will not go. 11 will not go. 12. Nope. And 13 will not go. So I tried all the numbers till 14. And nothing else is a factor of 126. So these are the factors. Now for... 150. 1 times 150, 2. 1 times 75, 3 times 50. You can use your calculator. 4 is not, you cannot divide it. 5 times 30 and 6 times 25, 7 you cannot divide, 8 you cannot, 9 you cannot, 10 of course will 10 times 15 and I that's it. These are the factors of 150. What is common? The highest common factor. As you can notice, it is 6. So this is another way of solving the question. 
the table shows the temperatures in five places at 10 a.m. one day in January. Which place was the coldest? The coldest will have the lowest temperature. So the lowest temperature is negative 10. So the place is colder. The coldest place is Chicago. Many children, they forget to write the place and they write the temperature. Be careful that you don't make that mistake. B, at 2 p.m., the temperature in Helsinki had increased by 4 degrees. Write down the temperature in Helsinki at 2 p.m. So it was increased by 4. It means we add 4 to 7, negative 7. And that will give us 3 degrees centigrade. Question number 11. Expand the brackets and simplify. So 7 times 2 will give us 14x. 7 times 3 will give us 21y. Negative x multiplied by 14 is negative 14x. We write the number first. And negative x multiplied by negative will give us positive xy. Let's see if there is any common terms here. 14x minus 14x, they will get cancelled. So you will be left with 21y plus xy. Question number 12. The mass m kilograms of an elephant is 3570 kilograms. Correct to the nearest 5 kilogram. Complete this statement about the value of m. So this is an upper bound and lower bound question or limit of accuracy question. Whenever you have a upper bound or lower bound question, whatever you have to round it to correct uh, to the nearest 5 kilogram, Whatever that number is, they write it on the side, divide by 2. So this is 2.5. To find the upper bound, you add 2.5. And that will give you 3572.5. And for the lower bound, subtract 2.5 so we will get 3567.5 so that's our lower bound which we write first and the upper bound which we write after 13 sorry about that a is equal to 5, negative 1, and B is equal to negative 3, negative 4. Write A plus 2B as a single vector. So A is 5, negative 1, plus 2B. So we write the 2 out, and we are going to multiply 2 with negative 3, which will give us negative 6, and 2 with negative 4, which will give us negative 8. Now, when we are adding, we are going to add 5 plus negative 6. So, in the calculator, you can write 5 plus negative 6. You will get negative 1. And then negative 1 plus negative 8, which is negative 1 over negative 9. 14. Manual changes 5,000 Mexican pesos to dollars. He receives three hundred and thirty six dollars complete the statement about the exchange rate give your answer correct to two decimal places if you are solving a currency question write down the currencies that you are using so you have dollars and mexican pesos 5000 mexican pesos when he changes dollars he gets 336 so one dollar is equal to how many mexican pesos cross multiply 336 multiply by x is equal to 5000 multiply by 1 5000 therefore x is equal to 5000 this is a multiply when i move to the other side it will be a divide and we will get the answer 14.88.
Question number 15. Maria asked 50 students in her school when the birthday is. She records the information in the table. Find the relative frequency of a student having a birthday in April, May or June. April, May or June is here. And we have 21 students who have birthdays in April to June. So we write the outcome we want over the total outcome. How many students are there? 50. So that is your answer. Next, there are 750 students in the school. Estimate the number of students who have a birthday in April, May or June. If you have the relative frequency, you multiply by the total frequency. Here we have 750 students. So that's our total frequency. And we will have the answer. 315 students will have a birthday in April, May or June. Question number 16. Work out cube root 5, 1, 12 over 6 over 2. You just have to put the whole thing in the calculator. You need to know how to put in the calculator. And you will get the answer 2 over 9. Question number 17. A is equal to 4 pi r square. Make r the subject of this formula. So A is equal to 4 pi r square. You want r. So what is with r? 4 pi. It's a multiply. When you move to the other side, it will be a divide. And we are left with r square. r square, if I want to remove the square, I will have to square root the numbers on the other side. So r is equal to square root a over 4 pi. Thank you for watching. I hope I've been able to help you.